Yep, that's right. Today, we're going to show you how to clean a 30-gallon tank aquarium. And also, we're going to show you what we use for the water conditioner. Yeah. As you can see, our aquarium has live plants in it. And some fishes. And some neon tetras, colored neon tetras. So with the, the one is Olivia and the other is Sunny Goldie and that is purple seed which is also the purple one is purple grape and as you can see worm and little red. Yep. So what we do with the aquarium is we have some what you call um, the algae eaters. I don't know if you can see them over there. Yeah. They're somewhere over there. They're a big, big help in keeping the aquarium or the tank clean and uh, livable for the rest of the fish. So yeah. let me show you what we use for the water conditioner. So as you can see, these are the things for the aquarium. These are the ones that we used for the water conditioner. We have an algae control. And this because is... We have a hard water where we are at. So we have the uh, Easy Balance Plus and the flourish excel for the plants and, and this is um, a chlorine eliminator uh -huh. and the stress time for the fish to keep them healthy and well um mm. everything um everything is gonna be on the uh link and at the this bottom is that's for the plants that's for the plants so to let's get started alive. so oh. first of all before we start everything uh -huh. We turned off the water heater for 15 minutes as per the manufacturer's instruction and then and we take off everything, take turn off, everything. off the light and then now we're going to take off the aquarium cover. Yeah, and what I'm going to show you is this is the wiper for the inside of the aquarium and it can go up and down. Then I wanna, and since this is the, the um, halfway through the month, we clean everything up. We do a general cleaning, but basically, as they said, you can clean your aquarium about every week. Just change the water about twenty-five percent, and then if you wanna clean it like once every two weeks, then you can do like a fifty percent water change. You actually don't need to drain the whole water inside the aquarium and clean everything out because uh that would be that would be very dangerous to the fishes yeah they will just hop around on the rocks like if they hop on your hand wet i should take them out <laughs> now that so let's get started So right now we're just trying to suck up all the uh, dirt, yeah. leftover foods and fish poop. Yeah. Just the ones on the top of the rocks or the gravel because actually the gravel is the one that serves as a filter for the aquarium and underneath the bedrock would be your healthy microbes that keeps the aquarium healthy and converts all those um, toxins that the fishes put out and convert them into fresh and health, health, health component of the water. And they stop. The whole city stops. 
So like what I said, we're just gonna take off 50% of the water. Yeah. On the 30 gallon fish tank. Yeah, the so right 30 gallon fish tank can fit this fish. But we're trying to use we are using the force of gravity in order in order to suck all this dirt inside and those floating dead plants. Yeah, the dead plants are the ones that are dead. Mm -hmm. So I just changed the filter because this is a monthly monthly changing monthly maintenance for the fish. And by the way, I use the uh, Tetra filters for that. And now we're finished. As you can see, half of the aquarium is still uh, submerged underwater. That's to keep the fish from getting stressed out. And just, it's actually called, it's actually, we can better call this a water change instead of a cleaning. So now right now we just finished taking off some water and we're gonna start filling out the tank back. So we finished draining up the water, taking out. Yeah. Next what I'm gonna use is I have a small bucket so as you can see there's a 30 gallon fish tank and I have some uh, a small bucket so it's gonna take a while for this to fill. But what I usually do is first the first uh, bucket of water would be filled with all the uh, water conditioner that we're gonna put there So this one is a 10 liter uh, small bucket and with the chlorine eliminator it says that uh, Place One drop on every two liters of water. So we're gonna use like five in each bucket There you go the next is the stress sign we're gonna put five ml of this so the fish would have a uh, slimy coating that protects them from stress and then because I just took off 10 gallon from the tank and then the next would be the uh, easy balance to balance the pH of the water because we have uh, such a hard water here there's a lot of stuff that goes into the tank for the fish to stay alive and healthy. Yeah. And I use like 10 ml of this each time we change the water on the tank. Yeah. That's what we do when we um, clean the aquarium. Mm -hmm. We always need that when we clean the aquarium. And now this gets tricky with regards to the... Uh, the Plants. plant food, this is a carbon dioxide, actually it's a liquid carbon dioxide that we mix on the water so the plants would have enough supply of carbon dioxide there and less of the fungus. Yeah. So, so we're gonna mix two and a half ml of this. I have like an old um, medicine dropper here. So the plants would stay healthy and uh, won't grow none of those black bearded algae, which took us a while to uh, get rid of them. Good thing we have those algae eating fishes that we read about, so they help very well. But it was before it was so hard, like all of the plants and almost all of the, the fish tanks have been covered with it. And then we have some algae control, so the algae doesn't go rampantly right. growing. Yeah. And we mix one ml of this. Yeah. Wow. Once again, everything is gonna be on the link below for your reference if you wanna use them. Because like the stress time, it's been working very well for us and the fish are happy and they're healthy. That's why we are continuously using that. Yeah. I was gonna say yeah. And something else. Yeah, cause we always use 
faster when we are doing the fish day. So it's time to fill it. Fill it up. Yeah. It's time to fill it up. With clean for those from Asia, you would recognize that we have a dipper using for the fish tank. Yeah. Well, because our fish tank is located in the center of our living room, so um, we need to do this bucket by bucket. Yeah. We are far from a water faucet. Yeah. A water source. We're far from A. Now we're at C. B. Just remember, before you start all this, don't, do not forget to turn off that water heater 15 minutes before you start draining off the water. So yeah. the water heater doesn't get damaged. And if you're doing this, just changing out the water. If you want to do it weekly, you can do it. Just take off 25% of the water and then replace it. And uh, if you're like me, we just do this like once every two weeks, so I do like 50% of the water from the fish tank. Yeah, and don't forget to clean the inside of the fish tank's glass with mm -hmm. that. Remember what I showed you with that? So, as you can see, that our aquarium is almost filled up. We're gonna prime the filter. Then turn it on. Woo! No. Sorry about that, folks. And then, lastly, as you can see, there are this large particle from the new filter and that's just okay it's gonna clear out uh, within 24 hours and lastly we're gonna add a rapid cure um, an antimicrobial thing I think for the fishes so if they have like got those itching or stuff under the scale this is gonna help them So I just, this is one drop for every two tetras or every gallon of water. So I have 30, so I use like 15 drops. And then we're just gonna put back the light and we'll see. So as you can oh. see, we are gonna turn the um, aquarium light back on again. Ready? There you go. So that's how you clean a 30 gallon tank, fish tank or aquarium with live plants in it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. Bye. Bye.